Hello and welcome to Food for Thought, insights for busy leaders and managers in just 150 seconds. Today I'd like to talk about engagement and specifically I'd like to talk about engagement from the inside out. Because there's a load of information, loads of data now around the benefits of engagement and getting that discretionary effort from people. So I'm not going to go into trying to convince you it's a good thing. I think most people know that that's a good thing now. But most companies are still using surveys. And I believe surveys are great. They'll give you great data. And there's some interesting research coming out from our strategic partners at the moment about there currently being a bit of a COVID bounce, where a lot of people are showing more engagement than usual, uh, even during this crisis. But what we'd like to look at is how to understand engagement from the inside out, which is not anonymous. It's an individual conversation where a manager can have a meaningful conversation with someone because it's an individual psychological phenomena. Everyone has different criteria or has criteria in different ways and at different levels at different times. So a good manager is able to have a meaningful conversation with someone. And it's not anonymous. It's very real. It's very much one-to-one -one and how to be able to understand what are your specific engagement factors or expectations and what do you need to do to meet them and what do I as your manager need to do to meet them. Because it's about mutual responsibility. I cannot make you feel fulfilled. That's something that only you can do. But I can have a conversation that's meaningful about what you need to do and what I need to do in order to get that mutual benefit, mutual responsibility, so you can feel fulfillment at work. And what we'd like to do is discuss over the coming weeks, we're going to do a number of videos around the rules of engagement for engagement. And it's based a lot on the research by Dr. Dan Harrison and the uh, principle of enjoyment performance theory. And it looks at things like development and whether you have a growth mindset around recognition, whether you have the warmth and empathy to recognize and um, be affinitive with others. It's about remuneration and whether your self-motivation will get you the remuneration you want and what your communication styles are like and what your wants and needs around communication are. And it also talks about a responsibility for taking authority and wanting to lead your personal needs, social needs and work-life balance needs. So I'd like to ask you all about engagement and what you're doing and what you need to do to get engagement from the inside out. Because when it comes to engagement, stay curious.